Good morning, folks. The scientists working with the atomic clocks and star locations have figured out we're slipping. Wait until you see the Earth's rotation speed update. The days grow shorter. We begin with our star over at spaceweathernews.com and we're starting off zoomed in on the south. Coronal hole, long thin plasma filament, bright active region. The filament is an eruption threat we're monitoring closely as we enter the weekend. By the way, that southern coronal hole looks a bit like the one from March 2012, the Great Pyramid Coronal Hole, except today it's down near the polar crown. Quick peek at the descent of solar wind intensity, purple line is solar wind speed, and the return to normal ambient conditions. Tornadoes struck Turkey last night. The damage is fairly severe in the impact zone with boats capsized, buildings and cars destroyed. We've got record weather coming to North America. Cold and snow records are about to get obliterated as the jet stream weakens and dips through the continent, allowing northern air to descend southward, and all while the polar vortex is giving us everything it's got. It's pretty much beginning now and expected to be a three to four day event crossing the states. Cold and snow records will be rewritten. Let's start the science stories aesthetically with a new 3D view of the Crab Nebula, the remnants of a now dead star. It's a pretty fun fly through, even if highly digitized. Very cool story up next about the furthest planetoid in our system, at least some of the time. 2018 AG37 actually gets about as close as Neptune on its highly eccentric orbit. Last time it was in here was the 1700s and it'll be about 500 years more until its nearly 800 year orbit brings it in that close again. It's currently heading out to its apogee point where it takes that furthest out crown. I'm serious on this next one. I can't even remember the last time I saw a story about an exoplanet and the scientists weren't surprised or finding their models challenged and in need of changing. It's literally every single thing they look at. Sort of like how they had modeled NGC 6397 with an intermediate mass black hole at the center, keeping everything together. But since new observations rule that out, they now must make a change, but they just assign the formally identified force to a bunch of smaller black holes. Haven't identified any of them, just say that's the answer. Not like they could be connected in ways we just don't see yet. A follow-up to yesterday's first ever view of high-Z cosmic web filaments, they're now getting good at spotting the small-scale connections within the galaxy. More background scintillation here like yesterday's hydrogen snow clouds in space story. Much better science here than assumption. We've got confirmation of a plasma universe prediction of larger magnitude jet sheaths. They see them better and better as technology improves and here, they even map the helical magnetic field around what SLAC figured out three years ago was an electric current driven Taurus jet model active nucleus. Now last but not least, let's go back to our show on February 1st. Today, we go back to a story from January 8th, when we learned that the record fastest day, the fastest Earth had ever spun around once on record, was broken 28 times in 2020. 28 times. The world is speeding up. And if you will recall, they had predicted the fastest day of 2021 to be in July, with nearly two milliseconds of speed up. They expected us to end up 2021 about 24 milliseconds fast. 2020 was the first year on record Earth wasn't sluggish, spinning slightly slower than perfect 24-hour days. 2020 was faster by a whopping 1.28 milliseconds in total. Well. It's been four weeks, not even a full month since that January 8th morning news and the predictions have changed. Interestingly, while their predicted fastest spin, the shortest day of 2021, is now projected for August and not quite as fast as the previous predicted fastest day, as a whole, the year actually is predicted to be faster. Now they expect more than double the millisecond deficit as we saw predicted at the start of the year, with a daily average of again, more than double the previously predicted daily spin speed millisecond deficit. It's not even been two weeks, and something serious is happening. I hope it's a mistake, because the slight increase in rotation speed on the year by a millisecond doesn't concern me, but look at how fast the fastest day is now supposed to be. Excuse me? The previous record fastest day through 2019 was 1.1 milliseconds fast. That was broken on June 21, 2020, the fastest day on record and would be broken 27 more times that year. We entered 2021 with the record fastest day at 1.46 milliseconds quick and we're predicted this year to have a day over 4 milliseconds fast 
If that's not a mistake, well, it's math you can do on a napkin. We greatly appreciate your support. Going to get into this topic more on the website soon, and if you haven't watched that disaster playlist linked below the video, now would be the time. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.